In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate WSO Pro Standard and WSO Pro Adaptive. The first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress website, and then you want to go to the left navigation bar, click Instamember, and once the Instamember plugin opens, you want to click on the Setup slash Configuration tab, and then go over to your right and click on the Payments submenu. The WSO Pro Standard and Adaptive are third-party payments. So we want to scroll down and you'll see two options, one for WSO Pro Standard and the other for WSO Pro Adaptive. So let's begin by opening up WSO Pro Standard and you'll see in order to enable it you have to click on the on off toggle. So if we click that it asks us for our PayPal email address. This is the email address that you're using that has been registered under your WSO Pro account. So you would enter your email address here. If you are using the WSO Pro Adaptive, you click on the tab that says WSO Pro Adaptive. You'd click the on off toggle button and this will enable your WSO Pro Adaptive. Once your WSO Pro Standard slash Adaptive has been enabled, scroll down and click on the Update Settings button to save. Now that this has been saved, we want to start selling products through WSO Pro Standard slash Adaptive. So we want to go back to our Instamember navigation bar and click Products. And you have two options. You can add a new product or you can update a current product. And for the sake of this video, we're going to update a product that has already been added. So we want to scroll over to the product, click Edit, and then we want to go to the order steps. In order to sell products through WSO Pro, you have to ensure that the Payments tab is up top and the registration is at the bottom. You can enable the Auto Registration option if you like, or you can just leave it turned off. Once you're done, click Save Product, and your product has been updated. Next, you want to scroll down to Third Party Payments, open that tab, and then you want to scroll down to turn on the WSO Pro Standard or the WSO Pro Adaptive. So we're going to click the toggle button for both. The next thing you want to do is log into your Warrior Plus account, but don't close the product settings in your Instamember yet. Once you've logged into Warrior Plus, you want to create the same product in your Warrior Plus account, whether you're using WSO Pro Standard or Adaptive. You want to make sure that the product name in your WSO Pro Adaptive and Instamember is exactly the same. So our product and in Instamember is titled Special Product. We're going to go back to Warrior Plus and we're going to create a product also called special product. The next thing you want to do is to add a quantity for the number of products that you have. If there is no limit, then you can leave it blank. The next thing you want to do is go back to your Instamember plugin and we're going to make sure that we've scrolled all the way down to WSO Pro Standard or WSO Pro Adaptive. The first thing you see is a delivery URL. We want to copy that delivery URL and go back to the product that we're setting up in Warrior Plus and we want to enter that delivery URL where it says delivery URL. The next thing you want to do is to select the payment email address. Then you want to complete the rest of the product details. Once you're done with that, go back to Instamember. You want to look for the key generation URL and you want to copy that URL. Go back to Warrior Plus scroll down to integration options and we want to put the key generation URL here. The next thing we're going to be looking for is the IPN forwarding URL and in order to find this value we want to go back to our Instamember plugin and under our WSO integration settings we're going to we're going to copy the IPN forwarding URL. Go back to Warrior Plus and we're going to put our IPN forwarding URL here. 
Once all of your information has been updated, you want to click Update Listings in Warrior Plus. Then you want to go back to your Instamember plugin and click Save Product, and the integration is complete. Now scroll back up, and you're going to go to the Registration slash Pay button. We want to click on the Auto Switch Payment button, and this is where you will retrieve the payment URL for WSO Pro or WSO standard to use in your sales page. This completes the video tutorial on how to integrate WSO Pro standard or WSO Pro adaptive with your Instamember plugin.